What's up guys, Corvus95 here and welcome to episode 153 of my Punk Man Showdown Random Ball series. On the last episode we managed to pick up 3 victories, take us to 250 victories overall and 206 defeats. So hopefully we'll get at least 2 victories in this episode, let's get underway. So to start off we have an Arceus versus a Drapion. That's a pretty good start. Um... It's not a great start. Let's go for the substitute. Oh, that's nice actually. So we'll get Earth Power off. He is not going to take out our substitute. So it's not a very offensive um, drapey on this. Okay, so that didn't do much obviously. Let's go for a Judgment. Almost kill the Blossom. HP neutral, so HP fire maybe? Judgment takes out the Blossom. Very nice. Houndoom comes out. We'll go for an Earth Power. Does over half. Law has a special defense, they gain nasty plot up. And they do outspeed, so this is gonna kill. The electric should outspeed, shouldn't it? Weavile well, definitely does. But can't really kill. I'm pretty sure you outspeed. 282, 284, good. Go for the EQ. So Archeops does outspeed the Mega Handum. Takes it out with an EQ. Galvantula comes out. Um, I think we go Toxicro. Thunder. Ouch. That does a lot. Let's go for a gunk shot, he'll probably kill us off, so it shouldn't matter. Archeops actually outspeeds the Galvantula as well. Yeah, so he just takes us out. That's fine. Let's go for Archeops. And we'll go for a head smash. Take out the Galvantula. Take a lot of damage. Which you don't really want to do with Archeops. Let's go out into Weavile now. Take a Draco to the face and die. But they've ruined their um, special defense, special attack, sorry. So we've got Archeops now and go for the EQ. So unless they have a flying type or a levitator. Well, at least two of their Pokemon go down the EQ. I'm pretty sure they both go down in one hit, because Dragalge isn't the best physically bulky Pokemon. It's good specially. Very good, in fact. Not so much specially. Oh, not so much physically, though. I'm expecting this to one-shot. Once my opponent makes a move. Okay, so we take out the Dragalge with the EQ, it did kill, hopefully it will kill the Watchdog, almost, but we'll get put to sleep. Now we'll have to watch out, we don't land set up. The return does a lot, and they have speed, let's go for a Sucker Punch. Will they realize what I'm going for? How well does my opponent know Cacta? Does he know that they always carry Sucker Punch? I don't think I've seen a Cacta without Sucker Punch. Actually, no, that's not true. I had one on a random ball once where it had Pursuit, Seed Bomb, Sword Stance, and Substitute. 
which is a very weird combination. Oh, you went for a substitute. That sucks. Well, let's just go seed bomb then. Okay, this really sucks because Drapion's gonna come out. Did Drapion have sword stance? No, it had. Um, taunt. That's all we know about it. Taunt and poison drop. You only have one Pokemon you can switch out into. So I hope you make the right call and go out into that Drapion and not out into something that you don't have. I have no idea why he's taken so long. Probably just trying to stall me out, which I don't really get. I can't really do much to the Drapion with Cacto, though. Okay, so my opponent finally switches out with 20 seconds left of their turn. They just spent almost 5 minutes making a move that they could only do one thing. Um, we have to sword stance, I think. Just go down to that, that's fine. Okay, I have to go main after it. Don't I? Because Earth, Earth Power is the one. I may be able to go Archeo. Let's try it. We'll go EQ. So stay asleep. I knew we were going to go below half. We should still be able to... Or I need to break the sub with Archeo. Come on. If I break the sub with Archeops, then I can kill with my Nectar. Good. Okay, so main Nectric, Mega main Nectric. And we will go for the T-Bolt. No reason not to. We will lower his attack, take him out with T-Bolt. You only have one point one left. Watch how it comes out. And my opponent gracefully bows out there. Good game of my opponent. So that's going to be the end of battle number one. I will join you for battle number two, guys, in one second. On to ball number two, guys, and we start with a Meloetta against a Venusaur, so that's a good matchup for us, because we can go for the Psy Shock. Question is, does it have Sleep Powder? And if so, we'll go Combine. Let's go Combine. First turn Combine, very risky. We outspeed, so they have to go Sucker Punch. Yes, Focus Blast takes out my opponent. Good, good, good. You had to go Sucker Punch. You couldn't risk it. Well, I suppose it was a risk going Sucker Punch in case I went Combine, but then there was no way I could have went for an attack if they just spammed Sucker Punch. Okay, so it is a... Let's think. This'll do 240. This'll do 120. But its physical defense is 100, whereas its special defense is 200, so this should do an even amount, so Psyshock should do, should be better because it always hits. Let's go for the Psyshock. I'm pretty sure Focus Blast shouldn't do more. Right, now we'll go Hyper Voice. Just in case the switch in the dark type again. Okay, Charizard comes in. So Hyper Voice does more. This actually depends on whether he's physical or special. If he's Charizard X, Psyshock does less. If he's Charizard Y, Psyshock does more. I think he's Y. He's X, if anything. 
My opponent's disconnected. Well, they never rejoin, do they? After this one. Looks like my opponent just rage quit there. So, I will give him the 300 seconds and I'll be back if he reconnects. Okay, my opponent's back straight away, actually. So that's very interesting how quickly they came back. Why would you go Flare Blitz? You just damaged yourself for no reason. Why did I go Ludicolo? I meant to go Diggersby and go for the Quick Attack. Okay, let's go for the Rain Dance. Yeah. I confused myself by going for that. There's the Venusaur. I probably should have left. Yeah, so it was a Mega Venusaur, now a Mega Charizard. I'm gonna say out, I probably should have left Meloetta alive so I could take out the Venusaur. Let's Mega Evolve and go for the Sword Stance. Now I need to chance this. Do I switch out now predicting a Charizard switch? Yes. I can live one attack from a Mega Venusaur. Wow, oh, pass off Leech Seed as well, that sucks. Do I go quick attack or do I go... I think I go U-turn. And go out into Scizor or Luvani. Let's go Luvani. Because we can get a sword stance up here as well. Or just go for the exit there. Let's go for the exit there. Oh, he actually had spared. I should have checked that. Oh, it was a speed tie. Wow. The rain kept me alive there. So my opponent outspeeds me here. So let's just go for the Leaf Blade. He went for Roost. The Leaf Blade was two times. Resisted. I have a very grass team. Oh no. I shouldn't be letting them go for roost. Very risky. That's fine. Take it out. Because be it's up to you. Go for the knockoff. Okay, Diggersby died instantly. <sighs> Let's go Sludge Bomb. My opponent knows he's won this now. Yeah, Flare Blitz almost takes me out. Sludge Bomb actually kills the Charizard. Wow. This is going to be very close between Mega Venusaur and Scizor. Oh no, he has one left. I didn't realise he had two Pokemon left. The best thing to go for is Sludge Bomb. Oh, that's HP Fire. Oh no, I have to Sword Stance and hope that Bullet Punch is a one-shot, which it's never a one-shot. There's no way this one shot. Yeah, without a crit. Good game to my opponent. So we'll lose a game there. Let's go on to ball number three. I will join you then. Okay, so ball number three starts with a Terrakion versus a Primate. So I have the advantage. So let's go for a close combat. My Life Orb. I 
Out comes the wish cash, and we can kill that off with a second close combat. Gung shot will kill as well. U turn won't. Let's just go for another close combat, take him out. We're on 258 speed. Oh, no, we're not. We're, that's our max speed, we're on 201 speed. Executor. We outspeed that and we can go for a U turn. Almost take it out. And now we can go out into Pyro or Aegislash. Let's go Aegislash. Tries to put us to sleep. That's not nice. Let's go Shadow Sneak then. And the forfeit gets dropped straight away there. Primary putting in a lot of work. Could have taken out my opponent's first three Pokemon there. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this battle, guys. We finished with two wins, one defeat. This takes our current overall win-loss ratio to 252 wins, 207 defeats. And make sure to like, subscribe on this video. And from me, Corpus95, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.